ignition. And liftoff. Got speed endeavor and crew two. A liftoff before dawn from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The first time a recycled rocket and spacecraft have been used. Now making their way to the one and only International Space Station. The crew of astronauts on board will change shifts with seven colleagues on the International Space Station, or ISS. I really can't wait to get back uh, to Earth. Um, I love being up here in space, but uh, it just doesn't compare to, to being home on, on Earth. Crew 2 is due to arrive at the ISS on Saturday, and for a few days, two U.S. spacecraft will be docked simultaneously for the first time. Traveling up are two American astronauts and one Japanese, plus the first European astronaut to travel in a commercial spacecraft. I think we're living in the golden age of manned flight right now. I don't think people realize it. We have to look back at the 60s and the moon missions, but in just a few years, we will have done something even more ambitious. And beyond this mission this week, NASA has created oxygen on Mars literally out of thin air, and it flew its Ingenuity helicopter for a second time, higher and longer than the first. A so-called high-risk, high-reward technology that's proved humans can conduct flights on the Red Planet. Uh, there's a lot of excitement going on in NASA right now, and you all have seen it. The flight of the little helicopter on a uh, celestial body some 80 to 100 million miles away. As China prepares to launch parts of its next space station, other countries seem at risk of being left behind. And some argue Europe must decide whether it wants to go to the moon and Mars on its own or not. Uh, Europe is a world power in terms of economy, political weight, uh, and, and the world stage. But in space, is not comparable with the U.S. or with China. And I think this dialogue has to be, uh, has to be made in order to see where Europe wants to go. While NASA's Perseverance rover is searching for ancient signs of microbial life on Mars, Europe's space agency, the ESA, is due to play a crucial role on a future mission by returning samples to Earth. Andrew Chappelle, Al Jazeera.